How's it going, guys? All right, so <laughs> welcome to my new channel. I uh, just KY. Uh, I appreciate all y'all tuning in. For all of our previous subscribers, when this channel was named after our shop, Alabama Arch Academy, thank you for staying along with me on this ride. We uh, just. Just so y'all know, and I know I established this in the my channel conversion video, but I, uh, we are going to still do archery here. A lot of this channel is going to be around archery and bow hunting. I want to make sure I keep that going for all y'all guys. Now, but also, we're going to talk about other outdoor things. I am here at Alabama Archery Academy. The, Information for Alvin Marsh Academy will be in the link below. Um, but like I said, most of most of this most of this channel stuff is going to be actually be video in Alabama Marsh Academy. But we are here today to talk or actually unboxing video. Um, I got a new fishing pole, and I'm really excited about this fishing pole. It's been a kind of a journey to get this fishing pole or rod whatever you want to call it and mainly that journey has been I ordered from Carl's Bait and Tackle they did a great job they have awesome customer service all you gotta do is email them but I got this originally in the mail uh, two weeks, I, I ordered it about a month ago and it got lost in shipping and it took around two weeks for me to get it in and hold on just a second it took around two weeks to get it in and this is a seven foot three rod single piece that came in like this thanks, thanks to the Postal service. Um, so after I got it in like this, I was going to originally film this block of this this video with this rod, but it came in broken. And I got the packaging over there. What happened? It came in to just like this, and they shipped it. And Carl Black Tackle did what they said they were going to do. They shipped it out two a day, two days later, and it took two weeks to come in. And apparently it wouldn't fit in a particular vehicle or airplane or whatever they do use to transport this stuff. And it came in with this tube broken in half. I guess they just had to fit it in one of their little cars and said this seven foot three or seven foot five tube, it wasn't gonna make it. So uh, now I have a broken rod, but I'm gonna get to this unboxing of the new one. And let's hope that it is in one piece. And this is a favorite defender Lunkers Dish Lunkers TV edition rod. People call uh, I, I mean people are gonna call me fanboys to the Google Squad, but that's not necessarily it. I enjoy their channels. I watch their channels. I enjoy their content. So I like to support people 
that I like to watch. So, and I know this is a good product. So, this is the 73, just make sure I say it right, extra fast, extra heavy rod. And my whole purpose for this rod, and like I said, I'm, not, I'm, I'm newer to the fishing game. I'm newer to the fishing game. If you watch 25, I, um, you can see, I don't catch a ton of bass. I'm new to the bass fishing game, let's leave it at that. Now, I don't catch a ton, but I'm getting better. I'm getting, my technique's getting better. I'm knowing what to throw in what situation more. So, this is going to be kind of a, this rod's gonna have two different jobs. It is going to be a top order rig, then it's a stiffer, and some people are be saying, why are you using the extra heavy? And it's mainly because I wanted to be able to control my frog a little bit better. And I have I already had the so on two rods I already have. I have the I have the same exact rod as this one, the Lunkers TV Defender rod, but this one is a fast medium heavy. And I like to use it for my I like to use it for you know some some flipping my Texas rig stuff and and I, I'll use it for some smaller swim bait stuff in the future some jigs stuff like that I like I like being having a sensitive a more sensitive tip to that that way I can feel what's going on where it's where the work especially where my Texas rigs are like dragging the bottom stuff like that and I like to be able to feel a little bit more. I also have the AP Bassin, which is the absolute rod, and this one is a 7.6, it is a heavy and a moderate fast. So this is kind of my three rod setup. So just we're gonna talk about this for just a second. On on the as of right now, I may swap these reels around a little bit. On far as this rod and then the medium heavy rod, but right now I have the Apex or the Ardent Apex Tournament reel on the AP Bassin rod, and right now I have 50 pound braid on that. Probably about to change that up to a little something different. Um, not exactly sure, but I'm, I'm thinking about either going to a 30 pound braid on this. That way I can tie on like a a eight or 10 pound four liter for some more flipping stuff or some bigger swim jigs uh, or swim baits or crank baits or anything like that. This is probably gonna be my rod. Any type of bigger, heavier uh, lure that I'm going to put on it. So that's what I have on this rod. And, right, and it is a, it is a, I can't remember. Is a six a six to five and one ratio, eight plus one ball bearing. So that's that rod. On this one, I have the Lose Carbon Fire uh, Carbon Fire, uh, and I am left-handed on reeling. I am a right-handed person, but I like to reel on my left. I guess years of using spinning rods, and this is a seven to five and one. And it is a very, a very. I really like this reel. Uh, it is, it's a very good reel. I think it cost me right at about 80 bucks. It's, it's a very good reel. The the Arden also cost right at that 80 dollar mark um, when I bought it from Carl's Bait and Tackle off of it. This is not a Carl's Bait and Tackle sponsored video. This is just what I've found and what I've shopped on. I bought this from a field and stream. I uh, did the same with the AP Bass and Rock, but that's kind of what this rig right now is set up for a Texas, Texas rig. And going to the new rod, I am putting, so what, I'm, what I was getting at earlier is I'm making this into a um, top order slash inshore rod. Uh, it's, I'm going to use this rod if I do any inshore style fishing like off off the 
rocks at the bay or um, off of small piers, stuff like that. Like, I'm not talking about giant beach piers, I'm talking about just little small like locally owned fishing piers, that type of stuff. Um, I wanted a rod that had serious backbone to it in case I was to take it out to that that type of scenario and um, hook up to a you know a 27, 28 inch long red redfish or something like that. So I wanted I wanted a rod that could stand up to that action. So when I decided I was going to get this rod, I and I knew what purpose I was going to get it for. I knew I had to get a reel that could stand up to that type of that type of I can say abuse so that's the reason I went with the Shimano Corrado but it's not the DC it is the HG and my, my particular model is the 201 HG which is the left-handed retriever one that I think uh, the standard version of this for the right-handed retriever is the 200 HG uh, just don't quote me on that I'm pretty sure I'm right about that but, uh, but this is a 7 to 4 ratio and the reason I wanted this for that salt water that salt water type fish because this this reel is a little bit beefier it's really well made then cast like a dream I, I mean, I, it, I could cast this thing upwards of 50 yards when I have a little bit heavier bait on it or, some, or you know, a lure or whatever. Um, and I, if, if you hadn't, of course, we're not, we're not sponsored by, I'm not sponsored by any of these companies, just stuff I use, stuff I think is good stuff. So I'm going to tell y'all about it. And if y'all have different opinions, Leave that in the comments down below because I want to hear. I'm here to learn. I'm here to show y'all, hopefully teach y'all something, but I'm here to learn too. So give me those comments. I'm growing. I can take them. So I wanted this a little bit beefier reel. And right now it's got 40 pound braid on it. Probably going to swap it out to a 50 pound braid pretty soon. Just wanted to kind of get the life out of this braid a little bit more. It's, still is practically brand new but I, I wanted to I, I wanted to make sure I had something that could take a bigger fish and obviously if it can take anything if it can take salt water or inshore abuse then it can take bass fishing I mean it's just my ideology about it but I mean yes there's better things but I don't have I, I don't have the means to go buy 200 different rod and reels, especially with good stuff on them. I mean, I, yeah, I could go to Walmart and buy some stuff like that, but I wanted to get, this is my three setups. Do not, by any means, plan on getting any more anytime soon. So I might play around with this, see if I can make a little two-piece or something out of it, just for fun. Uh, and if I decide to do that, I'll take that take y'all along on that process with me. But this is my new rod, and I am really looking forward to getting out there and using using it. I actually was going to go inshore fishing this past week, this past weekend, but wasn't able to because I didn't have a rod that I could probably use the. I could probably use a 76 heavy, but I didn't feel comfortable. And the last thing I wanted to do, go do is break an 80 to a 130 dollar rod trying to catch something that really doesn't belong. Even though, like if you watch 25 Hide, Nolan guest um, Zach Nolan, not Zach Gibbs, Zach Nolan guest started on one, and he caught a 40-ish pound black drum off of a straight up bass rig with 12 pound mono and a little tiny Ozark Trail spoon jig. Uh, gotta, give him, gotta give credit where credit is due, that was an awesome fight and he did everything it took to get that fish in but I wanted, I wanted to get the best thing in my mind for what I'm doing 
And like I said, if y'all don't agree, comment down below. I want this channel. When when I when me and Zach decided, and you gotta check out Zach's channel. I'm not sure if he's got. It. We're right here at this beginning stages of this, so uh, it's linked down in the featured channels below. Uh, it on the homepage, also in the um, also in the description down below. But we wanted to. We have 25 high, and that's where you're gonna see everything that's straight up hunting, scouting, fishing, um, shooting guns, and stuff like that. But we wanted to bring, it's kind of like our personal channels are kind of a behind the, let's just say like a behind the scenes to 25 high. It's what we, what, what we use, what type of stuff we use. You're gonna, on 25 high, you're still gonna see bow builds when I do a bow build, but this is kind of what I want this channel to become. We're going to do everything, archery, fishing, talking about hunting. I mean, so we're just trying to bring it into a little community, building our hashtag 25 high life with our family. And I really appreciate you watching, but so we're just, I was just wanted to bring y'all in, do this little unboxing. I am so pumped at trying this thing out this weekend. If I can sneak away and go to a little, go a little inshore, might, might try something a little bit different, something that this isn't really made for. Might do a little surf fishing, I don't know. Um, and I'm not promising that to y'all. Uh, but I am really looking forward to catching something bigger with this rod and reel combo. I, uh, we we got some awesome videos coming coming your way off of 25 high I, uh, off of 25 highs videos. Of course, you know we are uploading you up upwards of three times a week on that channel. We're trying to at least do two. Tuesdays and Thursdays is the days we're trying to commit on 25 high outdoors. And if you haven't watched, if you hadn't subscribed to that yet, please do so. Check it out, subscribe. If you, um, but we, we're trying to grow the community and I'm sorry, I kind of lost track of mine there, but this is just kind of a, just kind of a in the background type thing. Like I said, most of my chat, my personal channel stuff is going to be filmed on location at Alabama Archery Academy because it's just going to be me and y'all. Kind of a vlog thing and as of right now I'm not making any commitments to how many times I'm going to upload on this channel. I'm going to at least do once a week. I, I, I am, I'm going to start off with at least once a week, twice if I can do it, and then I'm going to just build this build this channel to try to make it to where it's more of a every other day thing at least um, it's very hard for me to do that because first of all I got I got Alabama Archery Academy that I run which is our business if you need anything archery you uh, anywhere near at more Alabama South Alabama come in and see me we'll get you hooked up with bow strings arrows whatever you need but at, between running this shop, which I do five days a week, and filming 25 high content with us fishing, getting ready for hunting season, and stuff like that, and then I'm trying to bring this in with y'all. I'm trying to stay busy for y'all. I love each and every one of our subscribers, whether it's my own, this personal account, to whether it's on 25 High or if it's on Zach's personal YouTube account. We love all y'all. We all are a part of the 25 High family. I, I really, really appreciate every one of you. But if you, uh, I'm about to wrap this up. I did want to keep this a little bit short. Where, like I said, we're growing into this growing into this. I'm going to try to make a little bit shorter videos. Not sure how long this has been so far. I'm filming it by myself. So, um, But I really appreciate y'all watching. Also, 
uh, subscribe subscribe to us subscribe check out 25 high subscribe to me subscribe to Zach's personal account all linked down below and um, also if you like this you got 25 high merch um, I'll also have that in the link below and that helps us out a ton that helps us create more content for you guys and we kind of have some pretty cool little sayings at least what we think are pretty cool little sayings and maybe some of them are resonate with you guys but I really appreciate y'all watching and um, I, I just knew this channel I hadn't figured out my whole sign off thing but we're gonna learn this stuff together but for right now I'm gonna make sure I leave y'all this I really appreciate y'all watching like and subscribe and always remember to live life 25 high <laughs>